Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> First thing I do is I actually clip my hair back. Oops. I clip my hair back so that way, why is this not clipping back like I wanted to? There. That way it's just out of my face and I look kind of funny. Okay. <clears throat> so the first thing I do in my makeup is before I put anything, I like to prep my face and I use the Lubriderm uh, lotion. I really like this stuff because my face is very dry and so it just helps my face not be so dry. And I warm it up and then I just put it all over my face just like this and just kind of massage that in. Do not forget your neck. Mm -hmm. Just like this. Mm, yeah. um, and you should be prepped for your makeup. I'm actually going to answer that one question now so that way you know, we can get started. <clears throat> How old are you? Um, I am actually 24, which is funny because I thought I was 23 maybe like a month ago and my husband was looking at me like I was crazy because I just literally could not remember my age and I heard that happens like later on when you're older not when you're in your 20s but I'm already forgetting if I look down it's because I am looking at my mirror the next thing I want to do is I want to do my eyebrows I like to do my eyebrows first um, it just kind of works in my makeup routine it just I don't know I've always done my eyebrows first if you do your eyebrows last then that's the beauty of makeup you can always do whatever step you want last or first but for me I like to do my brows now for my brows I use the Kat Von D um, this palette and the reason why I do that is because I really like the black shadow in this palette it's like I this palette's been used so long and so much I need to get a new one but um this black right here fire so I take this brush just any little angled brush like this and dip it in and then I like to start my brows um, just right here like in the center of my brow and I work my way out because that's where I want the most product I don't want to start in the front because then I'm gonna make it super dark in the front and I kind of want it to fade you know so I start in the middle and I work my way back like this mm -hmm. and then I make another line in the top middle and I kind of connect it together if you can see what I'm doing and then once I don't have that much product on my brush I kind of like start sweeping that to the front of my brow and that way you have the less product in the top in the front um, and then I just do another line in the bottom and I work my way to the front and then I just fill in whatever I have left in my brush I fill in my brows and then I basically don't have like anything left on my brush so then I just start sweeping up very slowly And then I just sweep back, make sure I got all the little edges. And that should be my eyebrows sometimes. They don't always come out exactly how I want them. I mean, you guys should know. <gasps> you guys know, we don't, you know, 
not all the time they come out exactly how you want them to so I don't want to ruin it all right so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera and then we'll be right back okay that is both brows on and they look like pretty similar I would say um, the next thing I want to do is sometimes I always try to switch up my makeup routine. Sometimes I'll do foundation, sometimes I do my eyes first. I'm the type of girl that likes to do my eyes first because I never know what I'm doing with my eyes. I usually go from like super simple to like super crazy glam. So I just always do my eyes first, but I think today we are going to do foundation and lately um i really like the uh, wet and wild photo focused dewy foundation but i actually this one's beige and this one's ivory so i use both of these together and it's a perfect color so i just i know a lot of people don't like this foundation because it has like a fragrance that they don't like but to me it really it doesn't really bother me it's not like super strong I mean some people say it's really strong but I don't know I don't really think it's that strong again for me it doesn't really matter so I'm just gonna put this one on top this one's a little lighter so it just kind of blends in perfectly with my skin and then just take your your beauty blender um, this is my favorite one it's just a regular beauty blender and just kind of buff that in Okay, it should look like this, all blended in perfectly. I'm gonna answer a next question. Uh, where were you born and how many siblings do you have? I was born in Texas, um, a little small town called Greenville. Shout out to Greenville, Texas. Um, and I have three siblings, two boys and one girl. I'm number four, I'm the baby. So the next thing I like to do, um, I used to really, really like my favorite concealer of all time. It has always been Tarte Shape Tape. Um, but recently I actually bought this NYX one. It's Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer. And I really like this concealer, like really like it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do. So I draw just a triangular. I like to take it very far. I like that kind of like cat eye effect on my face. And I know some of you are like, oh my God, that's a lot of makeup. But I just, I don't know, I really like it. And then I put some here on top of my top lip and then on my chin and then right here. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes I blend it out with a brush, but again, you can use your beauty blender. I use the pointy side for my concealer and like the butt part of my beauty blender for my foundation. So I'm just going to blend this in. Do not swipe the beauty blender because if you're swiping, you are moving your foundation and your concealer product you don't want that you want it to just stay so you just bounce it on your face just like this notice how i'm just doing basically the bridge of my nose i'm not touching the sides because I don't want to make my nose like like wider. 
I want it to like narrow and kind of like point here. Um, it just makes it look a lot more, it's the whole look put together. Sometimes after this step, I use cream contour, but if you're not going to use any cream contour, you can go ahead and start doing the powdering. Um, for my powder for my face, I use two different powders. Recently, I've been really liking Revolution Translucent Powder. I really like this one. It gives you almost like a really pretty sheen to your face, which I really like. If you don't really like kind of like a little shiny face, you might not like this one, but I do. Again, I am really dry, so sometimes when I have a little sheen, it looks a little bit dewy. I put some on the little cap, and I dip my beauty blender, again, on the pointy side where I originally blended out the concealer. And I'm just going to go ahead. Also, this doesn't give you flashbacks if you're wondering because I know how much people want to know that. If you know you want to take pictures and you want to go somewhere, you can safely use this powder and it won't give you any flashbacks. How good is that? I really like to focus this just on the main parts where I added the concealer. right there just really get in there on my nose sometimes i like to put a lot of powder on my nose because sometimes throughout the day the product like the foundation or like my concealer will move and like like my nose would just be bare and so i've noticed when i put a lot of more powder on my nose it doesn't move that much the next thing I do for my powder for the rest of my face where I put my foundation, <coughs> I need to drink some water. Water break. Okay. The next thing is I love, love, and I recently just found this out, but I really like this um, It Cosmetics Airbrush Perfecting Powder. Looks like this and it has SPF 50 in it which is freaking amazing and it looks like this I use this big fluffy has a hair on it big fluffy pink brush and I just dip it in like so and then I just put it everywhere where I did not put concealer on So all of my powdering is done. I'm going to do my bronzing. So I have two steps with my bronzing and contouring. So the new thing I've been doing is I've been using, oh, I forgot to ask questions. Oh. Um, are you married or single? I am married, happily married. And how long you been married for? I've actually, been married now a year I can't believe it's been a year um, I've been married a year and it's been probably the best year of my life because it's all I've ever, ever wanted was to marry Will and here we are okay before I keep going about my marriage um, I want to talk about this NYX bronzing powder I've been really liking I don't really use the top like um, shades I like the bronzing shades so what I do is I grab this black brush it's really smaller brush see it and I grab the darkest shade which is right here and I tap it a little bit because this actually has a lot of like pigment and I like to focus this just on the hollows of my cheek right here and I really like to blend this like and then why am I talking like that? Um, I blend this going upwards. And then what I like to do is switch my brush and I like to use this Morphe brush, M405 brush. And this is like the perfect brush for bronzing the perfect brush 
and I like to dip on the first two right here and then kind of just put that whole look together. Um, I like to contour my nose with this color. It's just a lighter shade. And I like to use this brush from BH Cosmetics. And I just go downwards like this. Like that. And then the other side, the same thing, and kind of connect it to my brow. So I go all the way up here and go down. Right here, like two little lines, like one and then two, and connect it. Just like that. Loose powder, and this is the Maybelline New York powder. And what I like to do is, this one's new, so it's just fresh out of the box. And what I like to do with this, let me shake it a little bit. Dipping it in, can you see that? Yeah. And I like to add this right under my contour. And just let it sit there for a minute. And then the same thing for the sides of my nose. like that and then I leave it there and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and we are gonna do the eyes so what I've been using for my eyes lately I've actually been using the same bronzing palette um, so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a fluffier brush like this and I'm gonna dip it in the first color like so and I I'm going to grab my mirror so if I look a little down that's because I'm looking at my mirror and can you see there yeah okay. and I like to go above my crease now my crease is right here where you can feel that bone that is your crease and I'm gonna take it upwards and I'm working it my way in and I'm working my way out as well you can take it as far back. Sometimes I take it pretty far like this, or sometimes I just leave it in like where my eye ends, but it does not matter. It can be, um, that's your preference. Um, so I'm doing the same thing, dipping some more into the palette and then going again. And I actually take my time to really blend this color in because this color, when, once you start blending it more, it's like so beautiful and I love it. So I just blend, blend, blend. So it's gonna look like this. It's not really dark, which I'm okay with. The next thing I'm gonna do in the palette I'm going to switch my brush and I'm going to grab a more precise brush and this one is a smaller brush. This one is actually a Morphe brush. It's the M514 brush and I'm going to take the darkest shade of this palette. Take off the excess and then I'm actually going to put this color in my crease. So where I told you if you can feel your bone, that's where you're going to place this color. And what you're going to do is you're going to swipe it from the very beginning of your inner corner to the outer part. And again, just taking it out and then just making sure that it is blending beautifully. And then picking up some more product and you can make this as dark as you want as well. So. look like something like this and then let me answer another question because I'm horrible at this question stuff um do you have any pets I currently don't own any pets do I want a pet yes um I want a dog eventually not right now but eventually I want a golden retriever 
I think those dogs are so, so beautiful. So I'm actually dipping in again to this NYX powder and I'm going with the first shade. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure all, both these colors are blended seamlessly and then taking it again outward like this. So I think we are doing a matte type of feel today. Um, let me see the next question. Do I have any kids? Um, I do. Um, I have a daughter and she is with Jesus in heaven. And I am also currently pregnant. So, um, yeah, my daughter was born in March and she sadly passed away March 16th. Um, if you guys want a story time, because I want this channel again to be just about me and my life and, you know, all beauty and story times and all this stuff. So if you want a story time of me telling my daughter Nova's story, then let me know in the comments below and, you know, I can share that story with you guys. But yeah, um, and we are currently pregnant with our second baby which is exciting get nervous but you know we are taking each step at a time i am gonna go ahead and what i'm doing right here is i took the jaclyn hill palette and on the first row of this palette i am going with the second shade this palette has been used a lot um the second shade right here and i am just placing that on my lid and kind of just swiping it like this going back on this brush and i'm not taking any product um and all i'm doing is i'm swiping making sure this kind of like white shade is blended perfectly with the brown like that Perfect. Next question. Hmm. Did you like the Desi sunglasses and how's the quality? I did. I bought the Desi sunglasses. I forgot the names that I got. Uh, I'm going to put a picture here and the name. Um, but yeah, they're actually really, really good quality. Um, not that I didn't think they wouldn't be, but their quality, her sunglasses are amazing i only have one pair which i do want to get more um all right next thing i want to do is i am going to a wing liner now i was into like the liquid black liner for a while for like a couple months i really wanted to always do the black wing liner but recently i've been doing just the brown shadow liner um i don't know it's a lot less like you know out there and it looks really pretty for like an everyday kind of look so what I use is the dare to create 39a palette I used this brown right here so in the second row the fourth one this one I like this brown it's very pigmented and it's super cute so I'm gonna show you guys how I do my wing liner. I've never done it on camera, so I don't know how like I can do this, but we shall, we shall see, we shall see, okay? So with my wing liners, or any wing liner that I do, I like to start in the middle of my eyes. So if you're looking the, at the mirror or wherever, right here where your pupil's at, I like to start there, I almost poked my eye. Um, I like to start right there and work my way out so um can you see me there okay so i'm just gonna start right there in the middle and then gradually work my way out it's okay if you have a little bit of fallout um you just go in with any clean brush and you just dust it away and okay so following that line and now once i have that line i like to kind of like look up in the mirror 
and make a line going outward from the end of my eye right here. So again, and then I connect it to the other line that we ended. And then I turn over my brush to the pointy side. And I kind of just and then I just fill it in like that. And I grab any brush. This is my clean brush. This is a elf brush. Just like flat, I mean flat, a uh, fatter. <laughs> puffier brush and I dust off any fallout and then again I'm gonna go in I like to make it a little darker so the same thing I just add a little bit and then I fill it in to make it look darker. sometimes I go all the way in here but I really like the look sometimes of just like this just gives you that and then when I, we did that concealer earlier, it really like, you know, brings it all together. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back with the liners done. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, since I have this brush here on me, I'm gonna go ahead and dust up any powder from the sides of my nose and then this side right here. Okay face is looking good next thing I like to do is I like to uh, curl my lashes we're gonna go ahead and put our lashes on just grab your eyelash curler and I love to curl my lashes I feel like when you curl them um, and you put the mascara and your fake lashes on they really it really does a big difference to your lashes I used to really be afraid of this. I used to see my mom when she would do this when I was younger, and I used to be like, oh my gosh, she is clipping her eyelid. Like, I used to be terrified of this until I used it myself and was like, oh, it's not that bad. But I have clipped my eyelid with this before. And that hurt. Okay, my two favorite mascaras before I put on my lashes is I really like the superhero It. Um, and then my second one, I love this Maybelline Last, um, Lash, <laughs> Lash, Lash, uh, Mascara. This one's also really good, but this one's kind of drying out. So, I am going to coat my mascara on. And I've actually been trying to grow my lashes out a little bit. Um, so they've actually been, it's on my face, a lot better because they were so brittle. I had, there was a time where I was using a lot of lash, like lashes, falsies, and my actual lashes started to break a lot. So. I had to just kind of stop wearing falsies and now I'm back to them again. Um, also with my everyday makeup, I don't always wear lashes, but for today I'm going to show you when I do wear lashes, which ones I use and how I put them on and all that jazz. Love it. All right. The lashes that I use is from Ardell, the Wispies. I really like these lashes. The band is very thin, if you can see. And they're very, very wispy. And I really like them. So the glue that I use for my lashes, I like to use the... I can use any glue, to be honest. A lot of the glues work for me. But this one's the LA Colors glue. And it's perfectly fine I usually use the duo glue but I can't find it so we're just going ahead and go and do this so these are the lashes and we're going to put them 
I put the glue on. Now you can use tweezers. I always never really use tweezers to put on my lashes. I've always just used my fingers. Um, but if you feel like your fingers just move a lot, then I think tweezers is better. You just have to be very careful not to poke your eye. Okay, so I put my lash kind of facing upward like this and I look straight into the mirror and I like to place it very close to my actual lash. By the way, these lashes always go on very, like, normally they never ever give me any problems. Okay, we are back with the lashes on. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and coat them with a little bit of mascara. So they blend in just a little better. And what I like to do is just coat them like this. So they look, and they just blend in really well. These are beautiful lashes, I love these. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and grab that big fluffy brush again. And anything that just fell under Okay, I am gonna answer another question. <laughs> favorite makeup step. My favorite makeup step it has to be concealer. I don't know what it is about putting on concealer that just really like puts me like in a good mood. I don't know. Your favorite season. My favorite season is fall. And it's literally maybe a couple of days away and I am like, I love fall. I really do love fall. And um, I just love the clothes and the colors. I love the fall colors, like love them. So. so for my last step of my face, I like to add highlighter. I love the Anastasia Glow Kit, favorite. And my favorite one, I love these two together. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and grab just any alternative. I'm just gonna head and grab this one. I dip it and put it right here. Look at that glow. Yes, girl. Yes. Seriously, if you're looking for a good highlighter, this one is Z Bomb. I put it right here in the nose, the tip of my nose. just everywhere so I like to add a little bit of highlighter in the inner corners of my eye I just grab any little brush and I go ahead and coat that in the inner corners of my eyes just like this because it makes your eyes pop up I don't do with my everyday makeup I don't do anything to my lower lash line I really like it like this I feel like my eyes just really pop out so I don't use anything in my uh, almost last step is before I put on some setting spray I like to do my lipsticks of course my two favorite combos a lot of people ask me if I line my lips and I don't but I have before but I don't it's just this um, the Jeffree Star lipstick and the Kylie Jenner one. This, uh, this one's Posh Spice from Jeffree Star. So what I like to do is I like to use the Jeffree Star one first. So I just coat. And then I use the Kylie one right in the middle, right here. It just gives me that like Just a little bit more of the Kylie. You can just huh. 
how pretty that is. Mm. Yeah, that's beautiful. Last step of my makeup, the last thing I like to do is use some setting spray. My favorite setting spray is from Milani. Um, I love this one. This one's a matte finish. I don't have that much, but I have a new one here, but I'm not gonna open it because I think this is enough. So what I do with my setting spray, I close my eyes and I spray like one and then, all right, so, and then. All right guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this first YouTube video I've ever filmed. Um, I hope you guys subscribe, like, um, leave in the comments below what you would like to see in my future videos. If you just want to see makeup related or life or anything, um, let me know and I will film them. But I really hope you enjoyed this look and um, yeah, just stay tuned for my next video. Bye. Thank you.